33-year-old Jackie Harder is suing her ex-husband's new girlfriend, 38-year-old Denise Novo, for defamation of character. Jackie alleges that Denise passed out flyers in her neighborhood, accusing her of being a child abuser. Denise says the flyers are true. Order, all rise. Yeah, this is case number 244 in the calendar in the matter of Harder versus Novo. Parties have been sworn in, Judge. You may be seated. Have a seat, please. Have a seat, ma'am. Ms. Harder, the defendant, according to your papers, is the present girlfriend of your former husband. Correct. Who you allege defamed you. Yes. In your community by slandering you and by publishing flyers demeaning your character and saying things about your children. Yes. Well, is this the ex-husband? Yes. Do you not get along with each other? No. You don't get along with him and you don't get along with her? No. I get along with him if she's not involved. How many children do you have? Two. How old are they? Nine and six. And how long have you been divorced? Six years. So you were married for a short period of time? Five years. Okay. Tell me about this defamation. Um, I have a copy of the flyer right here. Um, I moved into a new home October of 96. And in February, my neighbors came to me, three separate neighbors came to me on one Sunday afternoon and said that prior to me moving in, a strange woman had gone through the neighborhood, knocked on the door, and handed out these flyers. Can I see them, please? Stop. I've read your answer. Now, according to your answer, you don't deny that you went up to some of the neighbors in the new place where she was moving in and had conversations with them, correct? Correct. You didn't discuss these flyers in your answer, but I assume these flyers are the flyers that you gave to them. Is that correct? One. Correct. So why don't you explain why? They were meant for a telephone pole. What? They were meant for a telephone pole in the neighborhood because we were concerned for the children. Who was concerned? For what children? I, myself, and the father of the children were very concerned of situations that the children were discussing with both I and the father about some um, abuse towards them from their mother and the mother's boyfriend. Step up here. And we can no longer turn Step up here. Cheek. Step up here. Do you have concerns about your children, sir? Yes, ma'am. Why didn't you go to the family court? I went to the family. You went to the family court? I, no, I didn't go to the family court. I called Child Protective Services. I didn't ask you if you called Child Protective Services. You chewing gum? Yes, ma'am. Get rid of it. I said if you are concerned about your children, why didn't you go to the family court? and say, I am concerned about my children, and I think that perhaps we should entertain a different kind of custody arrangement for the children. Why didn't you do that? I did do that. I went to mediation. Good. A, a mediation. Good. We and through. what happened as a result of the mediation? What happened in mediation? Yes. <laughs> what happened in mediation? Try to remember, so they're your children. <laughs> Did you I get your children? My children? Did you get your children? Yes, I did get my children. So you got custody of your children? Right. So then no, what are we get doing here? My... No. no. I didn't get custody. Just a second. I didn't get custody and I got visitation. Good. Now, after you had visitation with your children, according to your girlfriend, the two of you became very concerned about the children's welfare. Right. So why didn't you go back to court and say, Circumstances have changed. I would like to have a hearing with regard to custody of, of my children. I would like my children to have their own attorney that they can speak to, 
right? And resolve the matter in an orderly fashion as you did with your visitation request. Why didn't you do that? Well, the, the, uh, the man that I was talking to, the mediator, he said if there was any problems, I'd come back and talk to him. There was a statement that he issued, and it was a court order, that she not degrade me in front of the kids and um, to leave me alone. Degrading you in front of the children. Right. That's your primary concern. No, it's not my primary concern, but these children are going, they're not, how do you say it? Excuse me, I'm not well spoken. But um, my children are going through hell right now. You think that this makes it better? Well, I think I've, I've already gone to the Child Protective Services. I went through the school. Nobody if you else went to Child Protective me. Services, that means that Child Protective Services did an investigation. Huh? huh? Yes, they did. And did they take any action? No, they didn't. And how many times did you go to Child Protective Services? Three times. And of the three times that you went there, was any action taken, any case filed against their mother? There's an open case, but no, nothing was filed against her. And the children remain in her care? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children, madam? Yes, I do. Where are they? She's 17 years old. Wait. That's not what I asked her. I didn't ask you how old she is. I said, where is she? She's at home waiting for a job interview. At home where? In Santa Barbara. Is that where you live? Yes, that is. So she lives with the two of you? Yes, she does. She finished school? No, she hasn't. Why not? She's a junior in high school. I don't understand what you mean. She, she's waiting for a job interview? She has independent studies. Why? I pulled her out of the school system. Why? I don't like the high school near my home. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Is that your only child? Yes, it is. And when did you pull her out of school? How old was she? September of 96. Mm-hmm. How long have you been living in the same place, sir? Since, no, oh, it's, what? Don't ask her. Well, I'm not good with dates, um, excuse me. You're not good with language and you're not good with dates. What are you good at? <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. You two must be very smart people in order to teach ch this child yourself. He doesn't know dates, he doesn't know anything, and you do this. This is outrageous! This is outrageous! You are a mean, vindictive <laughs> woman who could do this. She's moving into a new place. You didn't get what you want when you call Child Protective Services. They conduct no less than three investigations against her. They find absolutely no basis to remove the children, so you decide to make a little trouble, make her life a little bit miserable. And you go around before she moves into the community, and you plaster things up around the community. She says she gave it out to people. Genius over here says it was supposed to be on telephone poles. All right? <clears throat> I want to tell you something. If I were the family court judge, not a mediator, but if I were the family court judge who was deciding visitation with your children, you, sir, would see your children under a supervised visitation arrangement only. And I am a very serious proponent of fathers having as unrestricted quality time if they are not the custodial parents of children as is possible because I always believe that that's in a child's best interest to have the love and companionship of both biological parents. It's always been my view. I'm a serious proponent of that, but not, sir, when you live with this kind of witch. Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. Whatever counterclaim there is is dismissed. That's all. Bodies are excused. You may step out. <laughs>